Oh, Jason, we got to work on that. Here you go. Pick that up. Find it, Jason. Guess what? We have these out, and we're not even in what class? What class we usually get these out? Science. Science, right? Did you find it, Jason? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, easy, 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 easy. All right. Yesterday, we started talking about a new topic. What did we start talking about? Mean, mode, median, and range. Which word did we learn yesterday? Mean. What did we decide another word for mean is? Average. Average. All right. Average. And yesterday, we determined that what was the formula, or how do we calculate average? Just with any numbers we're given. Carter? Okay, so if we have a number, and a number, and a number, we add them all together, and we get a what? Total. Okay, so once we have the total... What do we do next? What's our next step? Isabel? What's that? We take the total and do what? What kind of divide? There you go. There's some help. By what number? In this case, what number are we going to divide by? Benson? Three. Three. Why are we dividing by three, Benson? Because you divide by the number of numbers all right. <clears throat> so, Mr. Funk does kind of two things. What do I do during the day? I do what? What's my job? Teach. Teach, okay? And what do I do after school many times? What do I do? I do, but what how about sports-wise? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Coach football? Coach football? I've coached many different sports, so I've coached football, right? I've coached baseball and softball. How many of you play baseball or softball? Good. And believe it or not, I've actually coached middle school girls basketball. Okay, so, right? When I'm coaching and when I'm teaching, this can become very important. So yesterday we learned how to do mean. We had learned how to calculate. Today, I want to add something new. At the end of today, not only do I want you to be able to use your calculators to come up with the mean, I want you to explain what that average means. A whole different meaning to the word mean, right? This mean means average. I want you to be able to explain to me, when we're done, what I can get. What information can I gather from the average? All right, so I'm going to do a problem. I'd like you to take out your calculators. Okay, I'm going to have you help me out a little bit. Okay, and Billy has been taking some tests. All right, and I'm going to put down Billy's last five test scores 82, 100. 84, 93, and 97. Okay. Now, as a teacher, I want to know how Billy is doing. So I want to know what his average is. Now, Carter just explained a few minutes ago that we're going to do what? Add all of these numbers together. Okay. So would everybody please get me a total. Okay. Yeah, total. Oh, you guys were working fast. Corbin, what did you get? That's the total? I need a total. I want a total of these numbers. Okay? Don't go too fast, Corbin. Okay? Aubrey? 456. 456. How many people agree with 456? I would say that's correct. We're going to divide by what? Five. Five. 
And yesterday we talked about if we get a decimal, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. All right? So now, who has an answer to the mean? Alex? 91.2. How many people got 91.2? All right, that must be correct. If I go over here to our grading scale, and Billy is averaging 91.2, as a teacher, how am I going to think Billy is doing? Okay. Shelby? How good? How good? Where does Billy fall on our chart? Where does he fall? And you see from Claire over there? Mm -hmm. Claire, can you help her out since the chart's so far away? A An A minus. So, am I happy with how Billy is doing? Yeah. Yes. yes. Is Billy, should Billy be happy with what he's doing? Yes. Yes. So now, I've done two things. I calculated the mean... And I also interpreted the data, meaning I looked at his scores and decided how he was doing. What if his average had been 61? 61. Then as a teacher, what should I be? Ayla? Not mad. I should be what? Maybe disappointed? Maybe concerned? Maybe I need to figure out how to help Billy, get better scores? I should probably be concerned. All right? Okay. I have a couple problems for you. Please don't start until everybody gets one. Two, four, five, one, two, three, four. I use myself in each of these and four. All right, there you go. All right. Let's read through this together. Coach Funk needs to decide which basketball player to put his best defender on for the upcoming game. Did you not get one? Did you want to share? Okay. He looks at the other team's players to find their scoring average. Help him find out by calculating each player's scoring average. So we have Tina, Cassandra, and Julia, can you please calculate the average for each of those players and write it on the paper? how many points they scored. What's their average? Okay. okay. That's how many points they scored. What's their average? How many... Okay. Let's review real quick. For Tina, what am I going to do? I'm going to add up her five scores. I'm going to get a total. And in this case, I'm going to divide by what? Who can help me out? Five. Okay. Then I'm going to add up Cassandra. And I'm going to divide by what? Four, because she only has four scores. 
Then I'm going to add up Julia and divide by what? Six. How many points does Tina average per game? Isabel? Five. She says five. What do you get? Seven. Seven. What do you get? Seven. Let's see if we can figure out how to get seven. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Divided by how many? Five. What's thirty-five divided by five? Seven. Okay? So we got seven. Who can give me Cassandra's average? Mustafa? Ten. Ten. How many people got ten? I think that must be correct. And how about Julia? Five. Five. Right? So we figured out correct averages. Now let's see if we can't apply or learn something from those. I'm coaching the other basketball team. And I want to know their best scorer. Because as a coach, I want to do what? The best put my best defender on them. All right? So who would I put my best defender on? Skylar? Cassandra. And why? Kyler? She has the highest scoring average. So this is where I can use average to make some type of decision in the game. All right. Number two, Coach Funk wants to put his best defender on the other football team's leading rusher. He looks at the other team's rushing results to find out what that, who that player is. Help him out by calculating each player's rushing average and then finish with which player should Coach Funk put his best defender on and why. Since we're using calculators on our Iowa assessment, you can use your calculators for this. these correctly because I know that's not the answer. So take your time and re-add those. this one again. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Now answer the question. You want to try that one again? You want to try that one again? That's good. Uh, this one's off, I think. Good job. And then did you get the answer? Okay. Once you figure out who we should 
play the hardest against? Answer that question at the bottom. So I'll take 160 divided by 4. And his average is 40. So put that down. Oh, look, the same next problem is exactly the same. So it's 40. Divided by four, fifty three, and one hundred twenty divided by three, divided by three, go oh, another thirty five seconds. Try to be done so we can discuss it in thirty five seconds. Who can give me Sam's rushing average? Kendra? 40 yards per game. How about Jerry? How about Jerry? Corbin? 40. How about Phil? Ava? 53. And what about Brett? Lucas? 40. So who is their best rusher? Who is the person leading their team per game? Shelby? Yeah. Phil. So who am I going to guard the best or with my best defender? Corbin? Um, Phil. Phil, because he has the highest average. All right. Okay, I am now going to give you your exit ticket. You're going to show me that you can answer this type of a problem. You're going to get one problem. You're going to read it and answer it on your own. When you have your answer, you're going to lay it on the back desk right over here with your name. With your name. And then you're going to get out your IXL and work on the letter M's. Questions. Questions. Questions on the two problems we just did. All right. All right. As soon as you get one, put your name on it. Answer it. Back table. IXL. Mm -hmm. Shelby. They're just yours. They're yours. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And one over. That's yours. That's yours. Hand one over. That's yours. That's yours. Hand one over. That's yours. Did everyone get one? Please put your name on it right away. Read through the question. Don't forget to answer why. you need to round to the nearest tenth.
This seems a little low. They scored over 14 every time. So it seems a little low. See what I'm saying? If, if they're scored over 14 every time, their average has to be above 14. All right? So make sure you add them up again and divide by how many? Six. All right. Answer the question. Jason. Get your name up there. And when you're finished, back table, IXL.